Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. Tonight we are having upside down pizza casserole. It is Friday and my sister and I are having a yard sale this weekend. And we were at, like I said, we were, ha we're having a yard sale this weekend. So we were down at her house for a couple hours tonight. So I wanted something quick and easy. And I was going to do salad with this, but I don't feel like pulling out all the salad stuff. So we're just having this and maybe the kids will have something else with it. I don't know. Don't touch. It's hot. It's very, very hot. So, I wanted to film this video, but since I was down there, I didn't, I didn't feel like doing that when I came home. But I will explain to you what we did. So, we browned some ground beef, and then you add some tomato sauce or pizza sauce. I use some leftover spaghetti sauce. And then you can add whatever kind of toppings that you like on your pizza in with the sauce and the meat. So, we just added pepperonis. You could add olives, mushrooms, onions, whatever you want. But we just do pepperonis. And then, once that is heated through, you throw it in a little casserole dish, top it with some mozzarella cheese and a pack of biscuits, and bake it for 15 to 17 minutes on 400. Top. So, yeah, mm -hmm. there it is. Plate it up. Just some yummy food. Tastes like pizza, but it's not pizza. So, that's it. That's what's for dinner for Friday. Hey guys, it is Saturday and we are having an easy dinner tonight. We're just having grilled cheese and tomato soup. I used that Annie's soup that I picked up at Dollar Tree, if you saw that in my Dollar Tree haul. So that's why you can see there's little noodles in it. There are little bunnies and trees and things, I think. Bunnies and carrots, that's what it is. Bunnies and carrots. So yeah, that is what's for dinner for Saturday. Hey guys, it is Sunday and tonight for dinner we are trying something new. I tried a new one pot meal that I could make in my Dutch oven that Andy bought me. This is called one pot lemon herb chicken and rice. It was super easy to make. I just had to season the chicken, brown it on either side, and then pull it out, put in the rice and water, and then put the chicken on top. Cover it with a lid for 25 minutes and then it was done. Super quick, super easy. There's like lemon in it, Italian seasoning, and like salt and pepper and chicken broth, and that's it. So minimal ingredients and super quick and easy to make. And the kids have already eaten like everything on their plates. They love it, it tastes really, really good. So we're having that with some green beans tonight. And then I also had a squash and a zucchini that I didn't end up using last week for some other recipe. And they were about to go bad, so I decided to dice them up and roast them and not dice slice them up and roast them and they've just got salt pepper italian seasoning a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of lemon juice and yeah that is what's for dinner i will be sure to link that chicken recipe down below hey guys it is monday and tonight for dinner we're trying something new this is mexican skillet lasagna i got it out of this cookbook the dinner plan that i checked out from the library it's got a lot of stuff that I'm planning on trying, that's why I have so many post-it notes sticking out of it. But this is it. It was super quick and easy to make, so hopefully it tastes good. And that is what's for dinner for Monday. Hey guys, it is Wednesday and it's July 4th, so happy July 4th to those of you in the U.S. We did our little 4th of July cookout thing yesterday because where we live, they do the fireworks on the 3rd. So... We had a surprise birthday party for my stepdad because today is his birthday and he turned 50. So we were all cooking out and hanging out last night and I completely forgot to film our uh, what's for dinner video. We just had hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill, some chips and pasta salad and stuff like that. So tonight is the fourth. We're just making some pork chops. These are coated with some panko, Parmesan cheese, some oil and... Italian seasoning and some garlic and salt and pepper and I think that's it. Um, I will link the recipe down below. It tastes delicious and it said to squeeze some lemon all over it if you like lemon and I do so I tried it like that and it was very good. It's very moist. I know people that hate that word but these are like definitely that pork chops can dry out pretty easily I feel like in the oven but these stayed juicy and tender and delicious and then we're just having it with some box shells and cheese and some canned green beans that I season with chicken broth salt pepper and garlic and yeah that is what's for dinner for this Wednesday hey guys it is Thursday and it's the last night of what's for dinner for the week and I think 
once again I saved the best thing for last this is lemon chicken pasta toss and it's from my better homes and gardens cookbook I have talked about it before I will link it down below because I found it online it's super simple to make just some chicken broth some lemon juice chicken penne pasta and that's pretty much it some parsley and salt and pepper so we're having that with some rolls that I got at Dollar Tree and then I was going to do salad but I didn't feel like pulling all the salad stuff out so we're just having cucumbers on the side and that is what's for dinner for Thursday thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one bye